so today you're going to be reading a story called Marigolds by Eugenia Collier. Um, it is a little bit longer and um, a little bit more difficult than the last two stories I gave you, Abuela Advents the Zero and The Whistle. Um, but the story is about uh, an older lady that is kind of looking back on her childhood, a time in her childhood. She grew up during the Great Depression. And, um, and she's looking back at something that she did um, that kind of taught her a lesson, uh, maybe something she regretted. This, this goes along with your writer's notebook topic from yesterday. I am hoping that yesterday you also read some of the background information because um, she grew up during the Great Depression, which was a time of poverty for her and her family. Um, and I'm kind of like her. I've lived a lot longer than you guys have, so I can look back on lots of things in my life that um, I would do differently or I wish I hadn't have said that or I wish I hadn't have done this. And if I could go back and do, do a do-over or a reset button, I would. There's lots of things that you kind of regret, little things and big things. Um, so that's kind of what her story is about. And whenever I read it, it reminds me a little bit of something from my childhood. And that is, um, I grew up on the neatest block. There were about, oh, 15 houses on my block, and it was on a dead end. Um, and at, at that dead end, there was a park there. And then just beyond the park, there was a lake. And so we would um, fish in the lake during the summer, and we would ice skate during the winter, and we would hang out at that park all the time, all the kids in my neighborhood and me. Um, and right next to the park, the very last house on the block was an old lady that lived there. Her name was Mrs. DeBicaro. And I never really fully laid eyes on Mrs. DeBicaro, except for the fact that while we were playing at that park, she would watch us at the park. Her One of the windows in her kitchen would face out over the park. And so while we were playing, we would see her in the window watching us. And we would make up these crazy stories about her being some kind of a witch or some evil person because she watched over us and it kind of would scare us, but we still loved it anyway. Anyway, we weren't terribly cruel to Mrs. DeBicaro, but something we did do to her is something called Ding Dong Ditch. And that is where you ring the doorbell and you run. And we laughed like crazy because we'd ring the doorbell and we would hear her come to answer it and um, kind of yell at us, you kids, and uh, we would crack up about it. So in this story that you're going to read today, Marigolds, um, the, there's an older lady in here that they kind of torment. Her name is Miss Lottie. And whenever I read Marigolds, it reminds me of my time with Mrs. DeBicaro. Miss Lottie owns Marigolds, and she's proud of them. So kind of pay attention to what those Marigolds may symbolize for Miss Lottie, what they stand for and what they symbolize to the narrator, the lady telling you the story when she looks back on what she did to Miss Lottie. Also, because this narrator telling the story is looking back on her childhood, she learned a lesson about something, something that she did, and from that comes the theme of the story. So hopefully you will enjoy it and understand it, and hopefully this little talk will help you fill out your assignment for tomorrow, for Friday, you will have to answer those types of questions. Hope you're doing well, guys. Bye.